Hi, so this video is going to be about my specific silhouettes from a wardrobe book. For those of you who have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, my name is Valeria and I write sewing blog at valeriaspec.com and recently I released an ebook called Age Wardrobe, designing your handmade wardrobe in a creative, fashionable and sustainable way. So this is this book is specified on your curves, on your body, how you can plan and sew clothes which you will adore and you will feel good and fabulous and well um, the specific point of this book is you. So uh, some of you who have already purchased the book you've been asking me to show my specific silhouettes and, and how I came up with them. I made several examples in the book, but in this video I'm going to show you all of my choices and explain you how I came up with mine. So while you're following the steps in the book, this can help you to choose yours. As you have seen in the book, specific silhouettes is the combination of different forms of the garment, uh, which you love and you adore. And so a combination of this make specific silhouette. Specific silhouettes are divided into upper specific silhouettes and lower specific silhouettes. So in this video I'm going to show you specific silhouettes for upper part. I'm going to explain to you why and how I chose them. Uh, so yeah, and in the next video I'm going to show you specific silhouettes for the lower part. And also with the uh, ideas which I had in my mind when I was choosing them and putting them in this specific way. Yeah, that's why they're specific series. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, let me get started. So, before we start with all this, uh, let me show you. This is my general silhouette. This is what I'm going for. This is how I want to look. Uh, and this is uh, our hourglass shape. It's not for everyone, not for everybody. These examples which I'm going to show you, these are only... Uh, I apply it only for my curves, so you can take it or leave it or uh, use the book, use the steps in the book and choose for yourself what you love and what you, how you want to look. Uh, so let's get started. I showed you already this, these examples in the book. As you see, all of them, they have small, small numbers, so I can refer to which I'm going for so I can know um, what type of pattern I'm going to choose. So as, as in the book I've already mentioned all the description for this, I'm not going to get deeper with that and this one is love woven specific silhouettes and this is uh, these are the silhouettes which I told you everything in the book as an example and now I want to show you to compare this with uh, my experiment woven specific silhouettes. So these ones are all from woven fabric only. All just fabric is going to be in another pile. So here is what, uh, how different they look uh, from one another. Um, here is, I know what I'm going for and I usually like the shapes and I'm going to wear them, but this is what I'm going to, I want to try. I think they can serve me well. And as you can see, I want to experiment with cropped length. Uh, here is like a uh, sweetheart, but here's without anything on top. It's like open shoulders, but I don't really care about the length which I'm going for. And here I want to try a butt wing but wing sleeves and I really don't care so much about the neckline I think I will figure out it later the, only, the most important things is I want it to be kind of short length and to have butt wing sleeves and this is going to be or fitted on, on the body so the biggest like the biggest volume is going to be on the sleeves and that's it uh, yeah, I want to experiment with open shoulders and uh, with open shoulders, and I want to experiment with um, sweetheart. It's kind of very different for me, and I've seen several patterns. I, I want to try. I want to get a really good fit. So I've seen on the bigger bust 
I think it's kind of dif uh, difficult. I'm afraid it can like kind of fall down or something. <laughs> so here it is. I have tried this shape a lot. Halt neckline. I've tried it a lot with jersey, and I know it serves me really good. It's like kind of uh, halt neck, but it has V neck. I only want halt neck with V necks. Uh, nothing else. I don't know. Is my completely my preferences. And I wanted to try it cropped, so I can make kind of uh, high waisted pants, shorts, or the skirts. So I can combine with this with this like several of them <laughs> and this I can tuck in so this is kind of woven like a t-shirt there is a pattern from I believe March Mills they inspired me <laughs> and I want to try something like that and I'm still really not completely sure because for me I feel like it is too closed I mean uh, the neckline is too high and the sleeves I don't know it's kind of uh, normal t-shirt with in the woven fabric i want to try this out if it's going to work out and as you see i've already chosen here uh, a length which i'm comfortable with is hip line hip length as you can see you can see here a lot of hip length and here's also hip length i don't pretty much care about the neckline but i want to try bell sleeves I'm not so much sure that they're going to be that long. Maybe I'll try shorter, but I'm kind of closer to the long one. So that's why I've thrown long, long sleeves. So these are... Uh, and the plus side of this one is also that it's going to close my shoulders in summer. Because, you know, I, I don't use sunscreen. And I usually use natural oils for sun protection and I, I try to close my shoulders from time to time because I can easily get burned. I'm kind of sun lover. I love to be under the sun as much as I can and I like to have something in my wardrobe which can close my shoulders uh, so not to expose them so much for under the sun. Uh, this can be a huge plus for this specific top. Yeah, these are the experiments for woven fabric and this is love like complete love I know which is which I'm wearing and for which reason <laughs> so yes these two uh, these two are for woven fabric only so guys let's uh, and I've chosen all this for those of you who have don't have the book yet I've chosen all this, these are specific silhouettes and I used, used different forms from, from, from the book and uh, all the combination made a specific silhouette. So yeah, this is what I'm using and checking out the book, you can choose yours for your curves and for your taste. Let's move to jersey, to jersey fabric. So here we are. Yeah, the love one is in blue, as as the dress, as the woman was. But this is jersey, and I don't know why I left this blank. I just started drawing it down, so that's why I kind of the number is a little bit broken. <laughs> uh, this also you have seen uh, in the book as an example, comparing uh, the stuff. So I'm not going to get deep into it let me show you my experiment jersey uh, drawings well, for example here i had already turtleneck like higher neck but it's all very tight very like kind of slim fitted but here i want to try turtleneck but a little bit loose i know that this one is going to serve me perfectly but for this which is a little bit loose i'm not very sure so it can be also from kind of thicker jersey fabric. This must be tried out. Also notice that uh, here I'm, uh, like, I'm not experimenting too much with length. I am going for my uh, standard hip length. And I'm also like uh, the same as wo with the wovens. I want to experiment with crop cropped variants. So this one is also experimental because I, I have not yet, 
matchy top which has this kind of neckline but I'm not sure I'm very super comfortable with this if I have v-neck I will just go for v-neck and I probably will not wear it so it is experimental this part is super experimental for me because first I want to try it with long sleeves and with short sleeves I'm not very sure about both neckline because this part is kind of open and I feel cold very fast in the shoulder area so maybe this part will work with shorter sleeves will work better so I just need to walk it out, walk it out a little bit all these also are very tight to the body uh, the other ones here yeah, is not really relevant which neckline I will put I will need to think and experiment with that but the probably will be v-neck so I'll be comfortable <laughs> trying the length out because the most important thing here is the length I want to combine these tops with high waist skirts, pants or shorts so uh, the neckline I will need to check out which one exactly I want here so I want to try longer sleeves, short sleeves and without sleeves these are kind of summer variant and this is going to be spring, autumn, something like that. I just need to see how comfortable I will feel in it. So, and another one, the last one as you can see is also buttwing. Uh, to make buttwing, I combine the tight sleeve with the loose sleeve. So it's kind of like th there is a difference. And it's uh, the same as uh, in the wovens. You see uh, the, the neckline is not that much of importance in this sense. And it's pretty much tied to the body in these areas. And again, here I'm going for hip length as just is going to be tied there. I think it will be just fine. So yeah, this is what I'm going to experiment with. And these ones, I know for sure will serve me really good and I don't need to worry. If I'll come up with something, like if I like something from here, I can still add it here. Or I can create another list and go go with the, with a new one. So yeah, um, these were my, my specific silhouettes, which I'm using for choosing my patterns. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sending me your body silhouette. It is so freaking excited. Yes, can I can use the word? Yeah. It is like so so good to like to see how you guys are drawing yourselves. It's just I'm so happy it's helping you this way and thank you so much for sending me your body silhouettes. It's just really really amazing experience. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> I really really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you are not. Thank you so much guys. Uh, happy sewing, happy planning, happy drawing. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye.